We're going to cover how to convert measurement units from feet to inches, pints to cups, and things like that. So, uh, let's go over what we learned in our previous lesson over proportion, which is what? What are proportion? Equivalent ratios when you have, or fractions, when you have two fractions or ratios that are equivalent. Um, so they equal the same thing. For example, the ratio of boys to girls is 2 to 3. There are 1,200 students at McMeans Junior High. How many boys attend McMeans Junior High? So the question is asking about how many boys attend this school, and there are 1,200 students. So it's about, our ratio will be about boys and students. So, how many boys are there out of 1,200 students? The ratio of boys to girls is 2 to 3. So there's two boys out of how many students in this group? In this small group, two boys, three girls. So there are five students in that small group. So how do I scale up from five students to 1,200 students? I'm going to do a slow scale up. I'm going to build it up by two. So I get 10 students to four boys. Then 10. So I built it up by two, so it's 10. How many, 12? You know what? I'm going to build it up by 10 again. And that will be 100, and this will be 40. How many hundreds going to 1,200? Then I'm going to build it up again by 12, and I get 480 boys out of 1,200 students. So if there was a, so think about it. There's a group. There's a boy, boy, girl, girl, girl. Two boys out of five students. If I have a large group, the whole entire school, there are 1,200 kids out of the 1,200, 480 are boys. So again, proportion is when you have two equivalent ratios or two equivalent fractions. Two fifth is equivalent to 480 over 1,200. So this is a graph about something about length in inches and length in feet. What does an ordered pair from this graph represent? So this represents 12, 1. This represents 24, 2. This represents 36, 3. The x-axis are the number of inches. The y-axis are the number of feet. So 12 inches make a foot. Are there 24 inches in two feet? There are. Think of two rulers. One ruler is a foot at 12 inches. You have two rulers, two feet, 24 inches. So write the rate as a unit rate. Again, a unit rate is when the denominator is 1. So 12 inches, 1 foot. Explain how could you use the graph to determine the length in inches of a 2 and a half foot iguana. Let's see. Here's feet. 2 and a half go right here. Follow the line and go down. So it is 30 inches. An iguana is 30 inches. So... What do you know about inches of feet? Each one of you will be given a measurement chart, a sixth grade mathematics chart. I think it's going to be the color pink or yellow. I haven't decided on how I'm going to print it up. So what do you know about inches of feet? I know there are 12 inches in one foot. What do you know about fluid ounces and cups? So look at your mathematics chart when you get it. Uh, look for, uh, I think it's under customary, under uh, capacity, one cup. Has 12 fluid ounces. No, I'm so sorry. One cup has eight fluid ounces. So I'm sorry. Again, oh, this is it. This is a relationship. But we we are going to try to write this as a unit rate. There are eight. There are eight fluid ounces in one cup. They mean the exact same thing. But I'm going to try to write it as a unit rate to be in the habit of doing that. So every cup, I will have eight fluid ounces. To convert measurement units, the conversions can be written as unit rates. For example, one mile has 5,280 feet. You can use the unit rate of 5,280 feet per mile or 5,280 feet for every one mile to convert feet to mile. So let's do it. The average weight of a baby at birth is seven pounds. How many ounces is the average weight of a baby? Uh, so we want to know how 
many ounces is this baby? I'm going to use unit rate. So looking at your sixth grade mathematics chart, which you will be able to use or start test. So please don't sit there and memorize them. I don't really remember. Well, actually, I, have, I do memorize. I have memorized it because I've been teaching this for years now. So there are 16 ounces for every one pound. If you have a one-pound bag of flour, it weighs 16 ounces. So where would you label seven pounds? I'm going to put it right here. So how do I scale forward from one pound to seven pounds? I multiply by seven. Multiply by seven. So 16 ounces times seven, 42, carry it forward, that's seven, eight, nine, ten, seven. 112 ounces is the same or equivalent as seven pounds. Some of you may not like using ratio tables. I do. I love it. But some of you may want to do proportions. So let's do this one. There are 16 ounces to one pound. Seven pounds. And how do you build up from one pound to seven pounds? Times seven, 112. Next one. The tunnel is two and three, four kilometers long, or kilometers long. How many meters is this? If you look at your sixth grade mathematics chart, it says meters kilometer. There are 1,000 meters for every one kilometer. So two and three four kilometer goes here. How do I build up from one to two and three four? I multiply by two and three four. So what is 1,000 times two and three four? Several ways you can do it. You can first of all multiply 1,000 times two and get 2,000. And then do three four times 1,000 and get 750. So together is 2750. Or you can turn this into an improper fraction, which is 11 4 times 1,000. You have 1,000 groups of 11 4. If you have 1,000 groups of 11 4, that's 11,000 fourths. Guess why? Turn that to a fraction, you multiply across. How many fours? Go into 11,000. Because you have 11,000, you are dividing it into fours. So four goes to one, zero times. Four goes to 11, two times. That's three. Bring down a zero. How many fours goes? 37 times. Uh, still have remainders. Bring down a zero. How many fours going? 25 times. Bring down a zero. How many fours going? Zero. Zero. So it's 2,750 meters is equivalent to two and three four kilometers. A recipe for ice cream calls for 1.6, 1 of 70, 6,500 hundredths liters of milk. How many milliliters of milk are in the recipe? So one liter. Let's write it as a unit rate. And look at your mathematic chart. It says something about milliliters, which is 1,000, one liter. So I'll put 1.65 down here. How do I build up from 1 to 1.65? I multiply, I scale forward by 1 and 65 hundredths. So 1,000 times 1 and 65. I could line up the, I could line it up, but I'm not going to line up for this one because then I have so many zeros here. So I'm just going to multiply it as I see it. 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0, 1. Do you see how I put one placeholder here? And I put a double placeholder here. 0, 0, 0, 5, 6, 1. There are two. So it's 1,650 milliliters. The track surrounding a football field is one fourth mile long. How many yards long is the track? So if you look at your stuff, uh, let's see, it's about mile and yard. There are 1,760 yards for every one mile. So one fourth mile goes here. So I am breaking it down. What do I multiply one by to get one fourth? I'm multiplying it by a fourth. Another way to say it is if you're multiplying by fourth, you're really dividing by four. Because 1 divided by 4 would be 1 fourth. So you could multiply by a fourth, or you can divide by a fourth, whatever is easier for you. So 1,760 groups of 1 fourth. That's 1,760 divided by 4. Because multiply by 4 it really means dividing by 4. 4 goes to 1 zero times. 
4 goes 17 four times. 4 goes 16 four times. So it's 440 yards for every one-fourth mile. Ralph Serva. Oh, we're going to do that one. Paul ran one and a half kilometers. How many centimeters did he run? So if you look at your mathematics chart, it's kilometers and cent... No, I'm sorry. You're not going to see kilometers and centimeters on there. The closest I see to it is kilometers and meters. There are 1,000 meters for every one uh, kilometer. No worries. We're going to do a double ratio table. So from a one kilometer to one and a half kilometer, how do you build up from one to one and a half? You multiply by one and one half. So 1,000 times one and one half. Let's think about it. A thousand times one is a thousand. A thousand times a half is five hundred. So it'll be fifteen hundred meters for one and a half kilometers. If you don't believe me, let's look at one thousand. Turn this in proper fraction. Three halves. That's three thousand divided by two is fifteen hundred. So we know this is equal. So one and a half kilometer is the same as saying fifteen hundred meters but we need to turn it to centimeters. So we need another ratio table. If you look at your conversion chart, it says, um, oh goodness. Where's my conversion chart? Uh, I think it's 200, I think it's, oh, all right. It's 100 centimeters for every one meter. 100 centimeters for every one meter. Let's make sure. I think this is correct. Again, I do not sit here memorizing it. Oh, here it is. So let's look at this right here. 100 centimeters for every one meter. So I have 1,500 meters. How do I build up from 1 to 1,500? I multiply by 1,500. Multiply by 1,500. So I, if I multiply 1,500, you know what? You might have learned a shortcut. 15 times 1 is 15. Count the number of zeros. There are four zeros. So the answer is there are 150,000 centimeters for 1,500 meters or 150,000 centimeters for 1.5 kilometer. All right, we're going to try one more question. It's not listed here, but I still want to go over it. Um, <clears throat> let's do a question about one with volume and capacity, because I want to practice with double ratio tables. Uh, you have, let's just say you have eight quarts. How many cups? So if you look at your look at your chart, quarts. The only thing I see about quarts is one quart equals two pints. I don't see any quarts in cups, but it's okay. We can do a double ratio or double proportion. So let's write as a unit rate. Pints and quarts. They are two pints for every one quart. Two pints per quart. If I have eight quarts, how do I build it up? By eight. By eight. So there are 16 pints for 8 quarts. Taking what I got from here, 16 pints, I can now turn it into cups. Looking again, there are cups, pint. There are 2 cups for every 1 pint. How do I build up from 1 pint to 16? I multiply by a scale of 16. And I get 32 cups. So 32 cups is the same as saying 16 pints, which is the same as saying 8 quarts. <coughs> so if you don't see on here, sometimes you will have to do a double ratio table. So this is how to convert measurement units.